Our second story out front, breaking news in the case of the teen accused of killing his teacher with a box cutter. A Massachusetts grand jury has just indicted 14-year-old Philip Chisholm of murder, aggravated rape, and armed robbery. Chisholm accused of killing his 24-year-old math teacher, Colleen Ritzer, and then dumping her body behind his school. Don Lemon was up in Danvers, Massachusetts, where this happened, covering it, and he's out front tonight with the latest. Now, remind us, I mean, this story captured the country's attention yeah. um, just because of the, the, the bizarre, horrific nature of it. Uh, remind us what happened and what we're learning tonight. Uh, it gets more horrific, if that could even happen, because what we're learning... Uh, well, I'll tell you what happened first. On October 22nd, he was in school. According to people who were there, other students, he wasn't paying attention in class. And so Ms. Ritzer kept him after school to make sure that he caught up with... To try the, to help to him. To try to help him. And then apparently she had to go to the bathroom. The faculty bathroom was locked. She goes into the second floor student bathroom. He follows her in. And that's when prosecutors say he killed her. That's when they believe he killed her. But they're also saying tonight that he raped her. And they're okay. charging him with aggravated rape. That's a new development in this case. And there's some very specific language here. They're saying it's aggravated rape because they believe that she suffered um, really uh, almost mortal bodily injury, serious injuries during that rape. Oh. Or they charge you with that if that happens in the commission of another crime, which was in the process of being murdered. So this, this is a felony charge as well. He's being charged as a juvenile with that charge, but they're trying to, prosecutors are trying to bring that up to try him as an adult with the murder charge as well. Also charged with robbery. They had the box cutter. They believe he, he stole her, her iPhone, her credit cards, and her underwear. And then he changed clothes. And then he went about town, as you and I were reporting, right. um, to, the to the movies. Then he went to eat as if nothing had ever happened. Uh, it is, it just, it's so gruesome and horrific to imagine. Yeah. What is her family saying tonight family, about this latest uh, you know, revelation about the rape? I, I remember going to, uh, so you, you know when you have to go and knock on someone's door, because you have to, right? right. Um, I wanted to find out what, what services and how they were feeling. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to respect them, so I knocked on the door and they were very, they were a very nice family and they said, we appreciate you coming over. Um, we're gonna release some information soon and they said we're, but we're holding up that's the only time I've heard them mm -hmm. speak they released a statement saying we are devastated and heartbroken by the details of the horrific circumstances surrounding the death of our beautiful daughter and sister Colleen as a family we continue to mourn Colleen's passing and ask that the media respect our privacy during this very difficult time and that's the statement that but can you imagine having to deal with well, it's all incredible of how gracious they have been very in, gracious in such a, I mean you can't imagine what that would ever be like yeah so it, it gets more horrific as we say we know what happened, but now there's mm. rape involved and there's also robbery as well.